Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make camera animations. So let's go ahead and make a camera, like so. And it shall make a camera on your, the spot you're on right now. And then let's go ahead and go into the camera. So we just click on this icon here, over here and then we go into the camera. Okay, so before we start animating the camera, we need to know what our boundaries are. So let's go to options and configure. And then under view, we'll have these options to um, enable render safe. So this is basically uh, showing you which area is going to be rendered. So you can actually increase the opacity and just blacken out the entire thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so then we have tile safe and action safe. So these basically define the safe areas when you're animating. So in, I know in After Effects we do, do a lot of camera shakes and camera work. So that's why we want to have a safe zone. But I don't use them, so I'm just going to leave them off. Okay, so to adjust the camera's aspect, we just click on the render settings up here and then we get these um, the settings. And then if we click on output, we can change that here. So say we want the height to like be a little bit like this, we can go ahead and do that. So uh, let's actually make it a 720p animation uh, and like so. And then if you want, you can lock the ratio and then it'll, you can scale it down and it's going to keep that ratio. So you also have different presets here. So if you click here and uh, there's one called Panavision, which is like for movies and stuff. But you can always do that in uh, post editing. So you don't have to, uh, you can just render it like this and then um, it will render out more space, which you can work with. So yeah, that's also advised. Okay, so to change the camera's focal length, we just click on the camera. And then if we move this, you can see it's now like zooming in and it's got the uh, it has less of a uh, wide angle so you can zoom in even more and I like to have it zoomed in quite a bit because it gives a more like blockish effect I guess uh, I don't know why but then if you want it to be very ultra wide like a parkour animation or something you can go ahead and do that so that the camera can be projected so the camera can be in different modes so it's, for example parallel mode which is like it's uh, kind of I don't know how to explain this but yeah you have you can mess around with this like birds view whatever and maybe create animation with this uh, but yeah and then we also have different focal uh, presets so if I click on this you can see portrait tele whatever and then we have this one over here and yeah okay so now we can go ahead and start the animation of the camera so let's go to frame zero find the spot we want to go to so I I want to go behind the rock for the first shot like so and be like coming into it like so and hit keyframe and now we hit the auto keying button and then let's move up in the timeline and let's just move him like move the camera a like whoa that's a little too much and so and now we should get that animation going let's move this up a little okay so I don't want the camera to be speeding up or slowing down so I'm gonna make the keyframe linear so how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna click and cop, uh, select this keyframe and then hit linear so now uh, the splines shall be linear and it won't speed up or slow down so it'll be one straight um, movement because now we're gonna go ahead and move to a different space in the timeline so let's go to frame 19 oh actually we need to um, go into our project manager so control D and select the FPS and make it 30 because see as you can see we have another frame in, in between so we don't want to see this the this the movement of the camera in between the frames we want it to be immediate so let's move now we can move to the new position like so so always make sure you're aware of that so as you can see I move the camera a little like so but it's affecting my previous keyframes so how I would fix that is I would actually bring it into the timeline again uh, so do that and let's uh, remove all these objects here and drag it into the into the timeline and now let's go to F curve mode and then the so rotation is the one that's messing up so let's select all of this and let's see why this is happening so let's zoom in so hold two and zoom in and one is to move around and let's have a look okay so as you can see the camera is rotating on the edge direction so we need to fix that so before it um, when it comes back here so let's go ahead and do that so let's go to frame 36 make a new keyframe and let's make sure it's on whoa okay let's make a new keyframe make sure it's on the same level as the the, the keyframe before it like so and now as you can see there's no rotation on the x uh, edge direction Okay, so as you can see, when I now hit play, it's really abrupt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add another keyframe. So hit the camera, go to frame 37, hold control, and now it's going to make a stop keyframe like that. 
And now we got that, so now we can... Um, so maybe we can move, rotate the camera up, so click the camera and rotate it on the P, like so, so we see him jumping. And boom, so when he lands, actually let's make it a little faster and make this a little slower. And when he lands, I want a camera shake, so let's do that. So uh, let's just move this up, actually move this down a little and then move this back up like so. Okay, so as you can see, I've now animated the camera and now I want to actually add a camera shake. So let's go to Cinema 4D and Tags and then there's a Vibrate tag. So this will basically vibrate the camera and kind of mimic sh camera shaking. I, I don't know why, but I like camera shakes, so <laughs> yeah. So I set it at 555 normally and then 0. Uh, 0. 0.5 as the frequency and you can even enable some rotation, so at around 3 maybe and then 0. 0.3. And that should mimic a camera shake a little. Uh, that might be a little too much, but <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, so you can actually animate the focal lens. It's actually used a lot in animation, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's click on this circle thing of the focal lens, like, and it'll add a keyframe where you are. So now let's move up in the timeline, like somewhere here, and let's make another keyframe. So let's move this up. So keep in mind if, if auto keying is on, it'll automatically key that. So like so, as you can see, but, or you can just click here and it'll add the keyframe. So now we have an animated focal lens. And yeah, so let's just change this back maybe a little, like so when he falls on the ground and add the keyframe and let's have a look. Okay, so that concludes our tutorial on camera animation. In the next tutorial, we're gonna go through lighting and render so we can finally get out that animation and yeah.